Hi, my name is Gabrielle Beard. I'm an English major and a communications minor. I was just recently hired doing marketing and PR for a startup in Lehigh, and today I'm going to be sharing my experience in this class and how, how podcast helped me develop skills for this job. Um, I was interviewed, as I said, by a startup in Lehigh called Limble. During my interview, my employers were very interested in the podcast I was co-producing. As I was telling about my podcast, I realized that I was describing a lot of useful skills that I did not even realize I had. This amazed me. Whenever I told people that I was going to be an English major, they always replied with good luck. But with an English major, you can develop a lot of useful skills. You just need to learn how to apply them into various settings. The podcast I was part of, the Instant Podcast, helped me stretch myself and realize that skill. So what is the Instant Podcast? It's a lifestyle and cooking podcast where we find, cook, and test Instant Pot recipes as well as give recipe modifications and Instant Pot tips and tricks. We let you know that ZD is amazing, but Instant Pot french fries do not work. So why this class? Why podcasting? How can a podcast help you advance in your future? Well, today I'm going to go over some of the skills I developed over the course of the class and how those skills can help you find a future workplace. Skill number one, criticism. One of the biggest points that is stressed at Limble is positive criticism and feedback. With the startup, feedback is everything. If something isn't working, then it needs to be changed. The same concept goes for podcasts. When you have your soft launch, you're going to get a lot of feedback. If the audio isn't working or your concept isn't quite coming across, you're going to have to possibly re-record your episode so that it flows better. But this isn't a bad thing. It's a good thing. It's teaching you how to grow and develop. Skill number two, tech. Who would have thought an English major would be using tech? But this is a super useful skill. We had to learn how to create and use a blog, how different podcasts apt worked, how to read stats, and how to edit audio. This is appealing to employers because it demonstrates that you are good with technology. During my interview, one of the questions asked was how good I was with computers. Thinking back to all the equipment I used in my podcast, I was able to demonstrate that I was comfortable and I could do what they needed me to do. Skill number three, collaboration. Collaboration is more than just a group project. We all have those group projects where we all assign tasks to everyone, we show up for the presentation, we get the grade, and part ways never to communicate again. However, in real life, you collaborate. You have to work with each other. One person is stirring while the other person is adding cheese slowly. One person posts the audio while the other person writes out the blog for that episode. In the workplace environment, it's the same thing. You aren't working together, you're creating something together. Skill number four, deadlines. In a work environment, deadlines are everything. Your listeners are expecting your episode and they expect it now and on time. Same with your boss. When they give you a project, you are expected to have it done on time. Podcasts let your employers know that you are responsible and they can rely on you for future tasks. Skill number five, writing and research. We all know how to write essays about abstract literary concepts, but what about the monthly findings report on a research that you did testing a potential marketing project? Professional writing requires you to write clearly and concisely all while capturing the main points. While planning our episodes, the same concept applied here. We needed to sound like we were having a casual conversation. Therefore, our planning couldn't be an elaborate essay. We needed to be able to glance at it immediately and know what we were gonna talk about. Skill number six, public speaking. Speaking can be a scary thing. It's scary when you have to speak out loud to a crawl full of a million potential listeners. It's even scarier when you have to edit the audio and hear your own voice and ask yourself if you really sound like that. Thank you for now for taking one for the team. But speaking is an art, and if you can speak well, you can go far. After all, after you are employed, you will be representing a company, and they want you to be able to speak well and represent them well. Number seven, advertising. So your project is up and running, now what? Well, you've got to promote it. English is a lot of communication, so is promoting. I was hired to do marketing, and one thing that impressed them was my ability to help promote our podcast. With our podcast, we had a lot of cool promotional experiences. We were contacted by the Dr. Oz Show through Facebook. They wanted to use one of our images for the upcoming episodes, Pancakes and Waffles. At first we were skeptical, we thought it was maybe a scam, but once they sent the copyright documents, we realized that this was a very real thing. It was really cool to be able to see that our podcast was growing enough to the point that it was capturing the TV sh a TV show's attention. Dr. Oz would have never found us had we not promoted it on Instagram, Facebook, and our blog. You have the skills necessary to go far in life. You just have to recognize them and learn to apply them. Start with what you love. At the end of the day, you will be able to develop an endless list of skills that will make you marketable to any employer. 
After all, one of the most marketable skills is passion.